www.oghuskyradio.com broadcasting live radio tron 2019 we got some originals behind the mic right here go ahead and introduce yourselves for people that don't know man original radio tron right here right right across the street man if y'all don't know it was right over there man the real radio tron well it was actually called radio man way back original mcs ice t nat the cat dr funkenstein og kid frost mc kid frost back there yo that's right, DJ Ralph M, the Mexican in the place, original 1580K Day Mix Masters. Yes, sir. In the building. Salute to Radiotron, 36 year anniversary, no doubt. How, how did you, Ralph, how did you come across Radiotron? How did you hear about it? Well, I'll tell you like this back in 83, when I was over in, uh, off of Highland and Olympic, I always heard the stories about Radiotron, one of the first after hour parties in Los Angeles, after hours club, etc. Uh, for me, I was like 11 years old, bro, so I wasn't able to make it to those parties. But I was able to place myself in the situation where I, I would hear everybody's story. I would hear about how it would go into 5 in the morning. I was a breaker in the beginning, a b-boy. And that's what helped me spawn into, it helped me grow into becoming a DJ. Hearing the stories of Krista Glove, Kid Frost, Ice-T. So for me, it was always in my heart. And I always tell people this. I say, don't try to capture Radiotron. Let Radiotron capture you because there's a whole story behind it. And it's an energy. You know what I'm saying? So that that's for the new up-and-coming uh, what, what you know, musicians, etc. What was different with 1580 uh, K-Day then with radio stations now? I could say some of that. Um, yeah. <laughs> the difference was is they didn't care if you were sponsored by a major record label or not. If the record was dope, if it was independent, it didn't matter if you brought it and pressed it at McCola. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. You could bring that record in and play it, and if it was dope, they'd put it on, man. That was the difference. That was the big difference. K-Day was the original community station. They would go out into the neighborhoods. They were basically like almost like an extension of Radiotron, if you will. It was like they would give the community a chance. Big ups to Rory Kaufman, who yep. was also one of the guys that would be out there with the K-Day Performing Arts. And he, like, yep. he's the one that helped a lot of cats. Like, we you did know, a lot of shows. Absolutely, we with up, Frost. We opened up all of the church's chickens that were in, in uh, L.A. coming out one at a time. Man. And the church's chickens actually sponsored all the community events to start bringing people into the events. And sometimes they got rowdy and fights broke out with us. But, man, for the most part, a lot of us got our start there, man. Everybody from the Soundmaster crew with Coolio, Ooh. Billy Boy, Spoonie C., Nights of the Turntable, Kid Frost, uh, Scotty D, Scotty D, <laughs> who else? Ice T, man, Fro uh, Frost, what, what? Hengi and Evil oh, Lee, Hengi, yeah. damn. Uh, New York City Spin Masters, Evil yep. Lee, Hengi, salute Heckle to the radio Jekyll. crew. Frost, yes, Heckle and Jekyll, all the poppers and breakers. Little Coco, he's Coco. here today. Oh, yeah. What what changed the sound though? The sound was different, like it, it transitioned. What what changed it? Was was it LA or just the, the music? era? Of, I'm gonna tell you what changed yeah. it. Mini trucks and crack cocaine. That's what changed the game. The game Straight got up. changed after Toddy T and all the rest of the shit, and then the shit turned gang banging, and everybody started spitting gangster shit. There and all that fast pace, break, pop locking shit that we would do back in the days kind of got shuffled aside for groups to make way like the NWA. Correct. Because the, the tempo, the, the tempo's definitely six slowed in the down. With ice tea. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Big Frost, up to you, DJ Unknown too, because he produced oh. that record. 808, master of the 808. Because Frost, you're you're an, an era of MC where you rocked the crowd and did all that kind of stuff. People don't really, I think, know that. You know what I mean? Uh, no, I'm gonna. That's why I'm wearing this shirt right here because I'm original Radiotron, one of the original MCs on that stage, man. Word up, and you'll be blessing the the mic tonight, right? You're closing it out. Yes, sir. But, um, Absolutely, I'll man. Ralph M. the Mexican, Kid Frost, Hispanics causing panic. I took this guy around the world when he was only 18 oh years That's old. Right. Class of Italy, 90. Rome, Paris, Greece, this, this Amsterdam, guy. Vienna, Woo. Germany. Uh, I went to places that I'd never been before in my life, man. Three, two passports to prove it. With this guy right here, he helped me. He raised me, man. As far as for, uh, going out into the field of performing and touring, Tony salute G to put Tony Gonzalez, original Tony's K Day. Tony's the one that made Kid Frost and the Mexican get down. That's uh, right. On behalf of Los Angeles Hip Hop, man, and OG Husky Radio, I want to thank you guys for laying down the foundations for us and everyone else in LA, man. Good looking out.